Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I wanted to do something that a lot of people on YouTube do, and, and actually a lot of people do in real life, and it's that no makeup, makeup look. And let me just tell you, I hate that term, because quite frankly, people know you still have on makeup. So I've decided that really the whole point behind it is so that you look healthy, you look vibrant, you don't look dead, or as I'm going to now call it, I'm not a zombie look. And also the good thing about this for my minimalist makeup friends, this is a look that's for you. It's done in five products. That's it, just five. And I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips in this on that can help you kind of amp up your no makeup makeup or your I'm not a zombie look. So let's go ahead and get started. And just like always, I'm gonna start with foundation. This time I'm using the Maybelline um, Dream Liquid Mousse um, Foundation in Light 3.5. Um, and I'm just applying it just like I always do with my flat top kabuki. This could be a foundation you could put on with a sponge, um, I don't really recommend your fingers, mostly because our fingers can carry a lot of bacteria, but you can buy sponges pretty inexpensively at the drugstore that come in a billion pack. So, Okay, step one, done. Step two, you guys have seen me use this a million times before, the Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser. Just find it to be a really good concealer and for drugstore it's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of buff it out. All right, so that's our basics down. Um, the next thing I'm gonna start with is a bronzer, and this one's by NYX. Um, this is their matte bronzer, it's in light. It's not norm one I would normally like for an actual bronzer, but for today's purpose, it kind of works. Um, you can see it's a bit orange, um, so it's not something, like I said, that I wanna use for like a contour, but what I'm really using this for today is more like a blush. So I am just gonna use my my angled brush just like I always do and I'm I am gonna apply it a little bit more like a blush put it on my cheeks bring it back towards the hairline but I'm also gonna bring it up a little bit because it is technically a bronzer to help warm up the face Okay, the next thing we can use using that same product, and I'm actually just going to use a small little brush. Um, a great one is actually this one by e.l.f., and I think this was a $1 brush that I got at Target, so um, that's a great brush as well. I just wanted to use the new one that I got in my Ipsy bag. And I'm just dipping that into the same old bronzer, and I'm just going to put this into my crease a little bit. I'm just smushing it around, back and forth windshield wiper motions and really that's it nothing big nothing serious nothing 
really out of the ordinary. All this is doing is just have, adding some depth and dimension to our eyes so that they look less flat from putting on the foundation and things like that. If you want to go an extra step, uh, you can put a little under the eye. Just like that. There we go. The last thing we're going to do with the bronzer is I'm actually going to kind of take the brush and kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm creating some loose powder. And this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm taking chapstick, normal, everyday chapstick, and I'm actually going to dip it into that powder. And then I'm simply spreading that right on my lips to give it a little color. Again, it's just really light, little neutral, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing weird, but it gives a real brownie nude kind of a lip. Okay, so that's really the last thing you can do if you wanted is this is just some clear brow gel. I'm going to go ahead and, and comb through mine, tape them down. But the other thing this can be used for is actually as mascara. And again, if you wanted to, you could actually dip this into the bronzer again, adding some color to help fill in the brows if you needed to, or even adding some color to your lashes. If you had like blonde lashes, it would help darken them up so they could be seen. But really, that's it. Five products, couple of extra steps, and this is done. We're officially not zombies. So thanks guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe and give me that thumbs up. Bye. So the also the good thing about this is that for um, my minimalist, minimal it's not one that I would normally like, and apparently I can't get it open. There we go.